Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel, nice to have you as always. So if you follow this channel at all, you'll know that I have a real passion for fast websites, for all the benefits that brings. Faster sites equals smaller file sizes, smaller file sizes, means there's less energy used for your website, you know, for hosting it, for sending it across the internet and for your users looking at it on their devices. Less energy means less carbon, less carbon gives us a much greener web and we've done our bit to save the planet. Nice. There's also the uh, commercial benefits. Faster websites are a much better UX for your visitors. Faster websites gets you a higher score on Google PageSpeed Insights and a higher score makes your website rank higher in search. Nice too. Plus it makes you feel all nice and warm and fuzzy when you get these sort of scores on Google Page Speed Insights. Yeah, yeah, it's my site, yeah. Okay, so what are these five things that I've identified when done right will give you a super duper, super speedy website? Well, let's get into it. In today's video, here are my top five tips for faster WordPress, starting with number one. <laughs> It's hosting. Oh, yes, it is. Now, I did say there was no particular order for this, but I'm thinking that actually, yes, hosting is probably the number one because it's where it all begins. It's your starting point. What's that old saying? Build a house with good foundations and you need good hosting. You've heard me bang on about it too many times. Good quality WordPress specialized hosting that optimizes their platform for WordPress. For my own sites, for quite a few years now, I've been using Cloudways. Totally recommended because a proper WordPress host will have things like on-server caching, potentially CDNs, and a whole plethora of other specialist optimizations that just makes your sites faster. That's what they do for a living. That's how their business model works get good hosting. Cloudways has a free trial. And if you want to jump on to using Cloudways, use my personal coupon code WPJack for a cheeky 20 bucks of hosting credit. And by the way, mentioning no names, but when I moved my personal site, jackson.co over to Cloudways, it was immediately about 30% faster after the move. And by the way, it really isn't that expensive. Look, you can get on Cloudways for you know as little as 11 bucks a month and when I moved my personal site and a bunch of other sites and stuff my actually my actual hosting cost came down by about 50 percent saving me around 600 bucks a year get yourself some good hosting it's absolutely essential for a speed first approach right next up number two is images yes shockingly Images are still one of the biggest issues you will ever face when making a site faster. Even the uh, default 2024 theme is quite heavy on the images. Let's have a look at 2024. Look, here's 2024. Here's the images on 2024 out the box, 400K. And there's only there's only three images on the page apart from, you know, plus the favicon and the WordPress logo. And when I optimized 2024 in a vid a couple of months ago, you can see that I got that down to 121K, 70% saving. So Get your images optimized, teach your users how to do it and do it before using any sort of image optimization plugin. Do it as part of the workflow, teach your users how to do it because it's whatever you start with is only going to get smaller when you start using a CDN or some sort of image crunching stuff in your setup. Do it first, make it part of the workflow, images at number two. Right, number three. It's fonts. You've got to optimize your fonts, boys and girls. Let's go back to 2024. Look, we get the fonts going here. Look at this. Look, this is 577 KB. I mean, the page is only uh, just over a meg. It's over half is the fonts. And look what it is once we optimize it. Fonts on the optimized version, 72. Now, web fonts are brilliant. Completely knocked it out of the park when they came along. Woff and Woff now, Woff 2. But the problem is most plugins, font plugins or theme plugins that allow you to use Google fonts, for example, can download some quite heavyweight font files. Well, you can, you can see it here. Look, look at that Inter 326. It's our job to make sure we're using the, the smallest font files. And you can see what I've done here with 2024. Look at this. These are the only font weights we need for the same page, for the same website, and we've reduced it by over 88%. Staggering. Make it part of your workflow. Optimize your fonts. Number three. Right. Number four is, yes, use a block theme. I'm not even going to try and sell this one to you, ladies and gentlemen. Just use a block theme. Your, your website will be faster. End of. Period. End of discussion. 
And with the aforementioned optimizations, plus your really good hosting, this is what you can expect from your Google page speed performance score. User block theme, end of story. Right, number five is performance plugins. So this score that you're seeing here is actually without a performance plugin. That's just the optimizations plus good hosting can get you this, this kind of score on Google. But once you start piling in plugins and analytics code, external code and other heavyweight stuff on your site, you're gonna probably need some sort of performance plugin that will get you back up to your Uber page speed scores. So this could be a cache plugin and there's dozens of free, really good cache plugins on the repo. My favorite is a paid plugin and no surprises, it's WP rocket is, is my favorite cache plugin or it could be a performance plugin like perf matters uh, which is fast becoming my favorite way of optimizing my site and it is super cool Re and dirt cheap 25 bucks a, a year absolutely insane tutorial is coming up for that but always save it for last optimize the heck out of your site use the speed first approach from the get-go get it into your workflow you can have page speed insight scores, just like my site. Don't forget your $20 freebie from Cloudways. Link is in the description to get yourself some very fast hosting. And you too can be on your way to getting yourself a very, very fast website. Let me know in the comments anything you are doing to help speed up your sites. Let me know if I've missed anything and let me know how you get on. But until next time, I shall see you later.